Good morning, good afternoon, or good night, or whatever time it may be in your part of the world. My name is Mr. John Wayne, and I am a variety gamer. I play everything from the Fallout franchise all the way to the Soulsborne series. Welcome, everybody, to another episode of my Let's Play of Dragon's Dogma 2. I hope you're all doing well. I know that I am. And today, we're going to be exploring the Arbor. Also, just a quick side to note before we get started is I did go over, well, I actually explored a lot, like a ton, trying to figure out the quest for the little girl where we're getting the grimoires. I found two in the waterfall cave. I had to fight a lich or something. Not, I think it was a lich. Uh, it was a pretty hard fight, and I fought a Chimera in there too, which was a lot less hard. Over here, I went and I talked to the little girl, and I had to literally write down the Grim Wars that she needed for herself, like for the quest, because that is the only way I was able to figure out what Grim Wars I needed. Kind of bad quest design there like they should have gave us a paper even if they didn't want to put the actual grimoires on the quest itself having a little slip of paper that we could read on the grimoires that we need for this quest would have been very helpful instead you have to go to the npc see what she needs by the there's like a little section where it's like the grimoires that she needs you need to turn in the quest to it. Uh, and that's that's the best I could come up with. I also went over here searching for the, I think his name is Baron. I looked all over here, didn't find him. I was like, well, maybe he's over here. And he was, he was over here. And, and then a lady over here tried to talk to me. So I ran away <laughs> as fast as I could. I ran away from the woman as fast as I could. So yeah, that's what I did. I didn't find any more grimoires. I found just the two. I searched high and low for the other three and have not found any of them. So let's start out here. The lady is right over here. Karium, kemen rostindume nun meltol. Morvea Kuruir. You're no elf. Palan Lome Meltol. Firnis Nambawe. I am called Darren. My brother taught me to speak your tongue. <laughs> so different from our own. Do you understand me? I learned the words, but this is the first I use them. <laughs> Others of your kind have come here, but my people warn them away. Oh, but I cannot stay. I must, um, see to the Arbor Heart. Can we talk to her again? Of late, the Arbor Heart is, uh, unwell. I must care for her. Good day. It's got to be more than that to this. Mm. My duty is to care for this, our sacred tree. The Arbor Heart, she is called. She has been with us uh, a very long time. She is nature's very heart, and a pillar of strength for my people. We have always lived in harmony with nature, and the Arbor Heart is our uh, uh, connection to the land. Yet, um, day by day, her strength is, is failing. I must give her nourishment of the soil to help her recover. A special kind, called Gwifentia, in my language, I know not what you would call it in yours. Once, 
A dwarf wandered into the arbor and gifted some to us. It filled the arbor heart with life. Now, um, little remains. Too little for the arbor heart to recover her strength in full. She begins to wane. Do you know of this substance? It must be found outside the arbor somewhere. If you find any, will you tell me where it lies? You can always depend upon me to translate for you, Master. Gwifentia is the elvish word for scale cinder. In your tongue, it is called scale cinder? Where can it be found, I wonder? Now, scale cinder is a byproduct of the Batali smithing style. A Batali blacksmith ought to be able to tell us more. If you see him on your journey, will you let me know? Anindulne faluntena? Nun falasmir anamorlis. Cool, we got the hunter's secret. And I have no clue how Lucy uh, learned Elvish. I'm guessing somebody must have, uh, like, used her and she learned it. So, right on. That's cool. Well done, Arisen. You have acquired a maester's teaching, an important milestone in mastering any vocation. Tis an honor and a privilege to serve a master so accomplished. Oh, that is... That's far. So this one isn't going to get done for a good while. Nun we ondo, aninke liavani alvike? I didn't explore in here because I didn't want any more people talking to me, so. Or trying to talk to me. Menelume sur Karilm. Angadur Sindhi. Iav Stir Lalastar. Sure, we can uh, go for a walk with you. More noon, Hiroth. Just want to grab some of this stuff real quick. Where are we going, by the way? Down over here? So we could probably come down through the Forgotten Tunnel. Pretty sure. And then after this, we'll go talk to Baron. Come to think of it, the pawns in this party are women all. And yet, no two of us are the same. I think we can get down coming this way. Why did he stop? Hey, bud, what are you doing? Could be in a slow poke. Turn on our lantern again.
Guess we can't run. We just gotta jog. Perhaps this will seem of little consequence, but different masters favor different pools. Look here. This path seems rather promising. Do you mean to proceed? My, you're a bold one. Well done, Arisen. <laughs> Wow, June just jumps off. Awesome lady. Almost just killed yourself. Wish me to return at once, Master. June, you're an idiot. <laughs> Like, I don't know why she just jumped off for no reason. My magics are at your disposal. Yeah, get some healing, June. What are you doing? More noon heroes. Art here, courier? You got anything to say? You say you're on the hunt for Griffentia. Darren asked that of you, I expect. It is said a woefully lost blacksmith once stumbled into the arbor and left some of it with us upon parting. In your language, it is called by another name. What was it? I know I've read of it. Of course. Scale Cinder. That's the one. It can be found in Batal, I believe. I know no more than that. It isn't much talked about, you see. The blacksmith was a dwarf, and the elders are rather prejudiced about their ilk. Oh shit, Minotaur. Let's take him down. Oh, ow. Oh, I thought that was me. I thought I fell off. Nope, it was just June. Man, we are kicking this Minotaur's ass. It's Booty Maximus. And we blew its horns off. Sweet. Where to next? So we uh, did this, which I'll explore a little more, but it didn't seem like there was anybody to talk to. So I'm not going to waste too much time over here in the Sacred Arbor. I'll explore a little more off recording. For now, I'm going to go in the Ancestral Chamber and it will lead us out over here. And we'll go over to the Moon Glow Garden. So I will do a cut real quick. And when we come back, we'll be over by Baron. Baron, Bran, I don't know. One of the two. So I'll see everybody in just a second. Alrighty, everybody. We made it over to Baron, Bran, whatever his name is. And he is picking Moon Glow. 
I went to rest at a camp to try to make it morning because it was getting towards midday. And apparently I didn't kill all the goblins in the area, so my camp got destroyed. Well met. You couldn't have come at a better time. Word of my dismissal arrived just a few hours past. Twould seem my time here has reached its end. Can't say I'm happy about it. I'm rather fond of this place. And if you'll remember, it is where you and I first spoke. Going, are you? Be well, friend. S sir! A Cyclops has come! And I thought I was some boy. Fine! Fine! We mustn't let it approach! Stand firm! Can I not climb? I'm gonna have to get down. I'm not sure what that magic is in the air, but it is freaking awesome. Another bomb right on his head. I could use some help. Focus. A moment of indecision may spell out doom. So it goes. Stab him in the head. Ended. This foe was marked to be felled by me. Is everyone all right? Hi, sir. I've been better, as twere, but I'll live, and I expect we all shall. Glad to hear it. Make for the encampment and inform your captain of what happened here. Quickly now. Aye, sir. Excellent work. Full glad I am to see you unharmed, my friend. Many thanks for your aid back there. Gotta be careful. Nearly trying. It is not every day one happens upon a material so rare. We shall have to think long and hard about what to do with it. Let's talk to Baron again. Thank heavens. Or not. Let's read the quest. So we gotta wait a day or two. Well, I guess we'll run over to the encampment. You know what? Let's go over to Melv. And we'll rest over in Melv and buy another camp set, hopefully. Hopefully they'll have a camp set for sale. Hmm. 
we'll leave the uh, run in the video. Sorry that I was quiet there for quite a bit. I had a bunch of uh, motorcycles driving by my house, so they were super loud. Pretty sure I'm going the right way. Just kind of follow the river along the edge here. Got some skelly boys. I would have preferred not to have to fight so soon, but at least I know I am up to the challenge. Yeah, skeletons are interesting to fight because you have to destroy their head. What are you doing? I don't know if I like June. She just jumps off of places. The whole reason I even rested in a camp is because she was almost dead because she jumped off a cliff again. For some odd reason. I have no clue why she jumped off a cliff. It's beyond me. Halt! Who goes there? This village is under the direct authority of Her Grace the Queen Regent. We are to grant no unknown person's entry. Let's offer a bribe. Will some coin work? Holy... Sure. Glad we understand each other. You may pass. Have no fear, master. I'll fare all right without you for a little while. I've a selection of wares that's sure to please. Damn, no camping set. And let me check my notes real quick on the Grim Wars and see if this is one. Yep, it is. Let's grab it. Cool. So we found a third one. Fulminous shield, eh? Tis a bargain, I reckon. I picked it up in Melv after the dragon attacked. Can't speak for its contents, but it certainly looks valuable. Thanks, I guess. Pleasure doing business with you. Everyone's busy with their own affairs. What the fuck is going on? Why is he punching that guy? I dare incite my wrath. Fuck. Away with you, this instant. I'm done for, aren't I? All my years snuffed out in the blink of an eye. Jeez. Does not look like Melv is doing too well. We need to rest so we can make it daytime. Stop this! I beg of you. That's enough. It hurts. Halt, I say! Hey, do you have a camp set I can get? Well met. Oh, <laughs> that's the same guy. Hope to see you again. I'm dumb. Let's check inside here. Beg pardon, sir, but I can't. Okay. Can I rest here? Here at the inn, we also offer check. I get so few customers, you see, that I can manage both roles myself. But enough about me. Did you need something? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to check my storage to see if I have any camping kits in there. And then I'm going to rest. So I'll see everybody in just a second. 
Alrighty. We did have a camping set in our storage, so that's a plus. I was really happy to see that. Let's find somebody to talk to here. That is a pawn, I think. What is going on in this? That's it! Like, this village is not looking too good. Well met. Glad to see you in good health. The tyranny of the Queen Regent's faction knows no bounds. Passage into and out of the village is restricted, and we're being treated as slaves. I had intended to endure it till Ulrika returned to us, but I fear the villagers have already reached their limit. I'll be honest with you, as you've earned my trust. We've a mind to leave this village for good. The dragon's flame has devastated the land here. Many of the villagers question whether it is worth attempting to restore it. When I mentioned as much in a letter I had smuggled to Ulrika, she told me that the village she's staying in would be glad to take us in. Only problem is how we're going to get past the soldiers. They've confiscated all weapons to forestall our escape. Perhaps if we could reclaim the stolen weapons or find a means of procuring some anew, we could force our way out through strength of arms. Alas, we villagers are kept under constant watch. It would be unwise for us to attempt aught on our own. You are our only hope in this matter. Pray, lend us your aid. Four swords and give them to Lenart. Can we go in here? Is there any swords in here? Whoa. I don't want to pay to get in this town again. And they're treating these poor people like shit. Queen is just a tyrant. Yes, I beg of you. That's enough. Hail! I've not forgotten what you did, helping me save my brother. Would that I could return the favor. But we've a bit of a situation here, if you hadn't noticed. Our weapons are being kept in yon storeroom. With those cowards stationed in and around it day and night. Say, mayhap we could distract them. Then someone could slip in and... Are you mad? We're simple villagers. No match for trained soldiers. But... I suppose someone's got to act. All right. How's this? We'll draw the guards' attention, giving you a chance to sneak in and get our weapons back. Sure. You'll do it, then? Right! You wait here. We'll have him away from his post in a trice. Just you watch. What do you think you're doing here? Halt! Damn it. Open that chest. There's two. There's three, four. We got four. Awesome possum. Let's go talk to <laughs> Leonard. How are you faring? Have you been able to procure any weapons for us? I sure have. Here's your four trusty swords. Oh, one's an iron sword. Whatever. You've reclaimed our weapons. Well done, sir. I am certain the other villagers shall be glad to arm themselves with their weapons of choice. 
My thanks. I'd wager we stand a fighting chance now. The time has come to leave this village behind. I've got you cornered, Rat. Don't fret, I've got you. With me! Holy fuck moly. Hold your ground. Do not let our foe approach. Have courage! This cannot be! What happened? R retreat! We must withdraw and regroup! You have my gratitude for all you've done on our behalf. We'll make for the village Ulrika staying in on our own from here. If I were you, I'd leave this place before reinforcements arrive. At any rate, this is where we part ways. But if you're er of a mind to visit, know that we'll welcome you into our new homes with open arms. Till then, farewell. This ladder looks sturdy enough to climb. After you were risen? So we'll have to go over to Ulrika and let her know. Awesome. Let's go back over to Baron. Sorry, I did not mean to press square. I meant to press R3. I'll leave this run in as well, but when we go over to Ulrika, I'm just going to use a fairy stone. Not going to run back. An ox cart ought to make our journey easier. They can be most convenient, though they only travel during the day. I do have a lot of stamina, so that's nice. At least I'm not running out of stamina every two seconds. Oh, before I go any further, let's give that to Lucy. That was weighing us down. an adventure if all we do is make camp. It is enough to make camp only when the need arises. Huh. There's Baron. Let's go talk to him. You're welcome to take whatever you like from my pack, Master. Hi there. Impeccable timing as always. I was just wondering if I'd get to see you one more time before I departed. And here you are. You've done much on my behalf, tis true. I can't rightly express how grateful I am to you, friend. If this ordeal has taught me anything, tis to have faith in my ability as an instructor. That's why I'm headed for the checkpoint rest town, Owen Batal. See, I have a friend who emigrated there, who happens to be in need of an instructor. And I figured if I'm being asked it anyhow, might as well go someplace new. Even if it means serving under different banners, at least I'll still be helping soldiers come home, and in one piece. Suppose this is where we part, eh? Be well, friend.
And may the sun shine brightly on whatever road you're traveling. Till we I'm meet again, to know Baron. That Sir Baron has found a new path. Mayhap we ought to go and visit him later. See how he fares. Splendid. So I guess we can go find him in the rest town checkpoint. I think that's where he said he was going to be. Now we need to go over to Ulrika in Harv Village. So I'll just see everybody over there in just a second. I'm just going to use a fairy stone. I'm going to try not to use too many fairy stones because I don't have that many and they're super, super expensive. They're 10,000 gold for every fairy stone you buy. Super crazy expensive. So I'll see everybody in just a second. Alrighty, we made it to Harv Village. Let's go ahead and talk to Ulrika. What am I doing here? Yes, yes, of course. We were speaking of places elsewhere. Mayhap tis beyond your ken. But this world of ours is not the real one. This world is a cycle. The dragon emerges, the dragon is slain. And just when we think we have found peace at last, the dragon appears once more. It is endless. Endless and tiresome, wouldn't you say? Yet, such is the lot of those who reside in a false world like ours. The real world is not nearly so stagnant. All manner of things occur there. It is a far more fearsome existence than ours, to be sure. Is there a way to travel to the real world, you ask? <laughs> Must I do all the thinking here? Ponder that yourself. What I will say is that I believe the cycle will continue unbroken for as long as the dragon continues to be slain. You doubt your ears, but I speak truly. I have beheld the real world with my own eyes. That was a very interesting interaction. I didn't think he was going to go into all that. I heard what transpired. Thank you for fighting on my people's behalf. You cannot imagine my relief when I beheld that everyone had made it out unharmed. Say, would you visit me again once night has fallen? There's aught I would show you. It is a joy to see. Well, I guess we can wait at a bench real quick. I don't want to pay any more gold to rest. Here's a bench. You're welcome to browse my wares. Time to be Let's go talk to Ulrika. You've come. Glad I am to see you. Follow me, if you would. It is a strange thing. I ne'er knew how vast the sky was till I left Mel behind. Time and again, you have come to my aid. Would that I could repay you in some way. Alas, there is. Little I have to offer. Yet, if your heart e'er aches for a place to call home, then may this village. No, not the village. If e'er you're in need of a hearth to return to, then let it be mine. Damn, she gave us a lot of money. And she kissed us! 
<laughs> I guess that's how you romance Ulrika. That's pretty cool. I like that it's tied into a quest itself and not just like, oh, you romance her and, you know, that's the end of it. Whatever trials we may face, I shall see this village and its people safely through them all. Master, pray let me know beforehand if we are to meet somewhere different. Do take care not to stray so far next time. It is an obscure text we seek. Methinks Magistrate Waldar is our best hope. His knowledge of tomes is unparalleled. Don't even know who that is. Follow me, Master, a few words. I'll bring you to the one you seek. A guide is most welcome. Now we shan't lose our way. See if he has anything new to say. Aye. Nope. Aye. Good for so long as we are united in our... Just the same stuff. Okay. So, what I'm gonna do is... Oh, that's right. Before I forget, there was a pawn, and I don't know if it was the pawns that I'm rolling with now, but while I was running around, I had the quest hunt for the jade-eyed orb, and they said check the jail one of the bandits in Burnworth's jail know of the methods employed by thieves and their ilk? Exactly. I'll so, you there directly. it was um, right here. Are. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use one more fairy stone. I don't really want to, but I'm going to anyways use a fairy stone to get over to Vernworth. We're going to get into the jail. So I will see everybody in just a moment. All right, everybody. We are back in Vernworth and ready to try to find the Jedi Orb. Follow me. The only problem I think I'm going to run into is, are they going to allow me to go into the jail and talk to people if not can we disguise ourselves i only asked so that i might adopt the most effective stance to recuperate my strength okay but where's the jail at it's not over here oh vernworth castle jail tower our place to hurry the arisen. I wonder if we can disguise ourselves though. I think we have armor. I don't know where to go for this jail. I think I have armor that is what the guards wear. By the way, I went down here and I that's where I found the armor. I'll just show everybody real fast. Over in this chest right here. I found armor that is the same armor that the guards wear. At least that's what it says. What biz Yeah, see, I don't know. I I don't want to go in there. I don't want to go in there. We're going to go run to the house. We're going to pick up that armor. We're going to put it on. And let's see if we can go in there. I just, I don't know. I feel like if we start exploring in there, we're going to have the guards attack us. I've played too many RPGs and Dungeons and Dragons in my life to know go into like jails or castles and stuff like that is going to get you in trouble. Well, if you don't belong there, that is. You're always such fun to talk to. 
so we're gonna figure out this Jedi orb first and then I think after that we'll cut the video and when we come back we will oh holy moly Nice. We're gonna withdraw. So this is uh, the armor that I'm talking about, the marchers armor set. Let's put that on real quick. Life taker. Now, normally I wouldn't do this, but when we get up to the jail, I'm going to do a save just in case we get attacked. This may or may not work, but we can hope that it will. Right, a predicament. Nice place, this. I mean, now what am I to do with myself all day? Hmm. Wired at last. Apologies, Master, but you will have to do without us for the time being. Okay, I think it was over. No, not right there. Over here. Yes, the jail tower. It's probably why that armor set is right there for you to grab it and then go in here. Uh, let's do a save real quick. Sorry. I know I'm being a little scummy with that, but I'd rather not get in trouble. If I can help it. Far way down, isn't it? I would hate to be a guard. I'll loot on my own time. I don't know what I'm doing here. This the cells? It's not. So far the guards seem to be okay with me being down here. Here's the cells. Can't talk to him. Oh, hey, who are you? You. I wonder how you must feel, having locked me away in this dismal place. Do you think yourself just? If so, you are sorely mistaken. There are many in this world who require salvation. I merely borrowed the aid of those who could offer it. Just as there are theories that may only be tested on living flesh, so are mortal bodies the sole source of certain materials. And, whatever you may think, all lives are not made equal. Tis the truth, whether you choose to acknowledge it or not. The sickly folk of the slums are fated to die. To waste away till death grants them its mercy. I merely gave their deaths a greater purpose. If anything, I deserve your praise. Not this awful cell. What a psychopath. We'll go in there in just a minute. I want to check every... Cell. Who are you? Dude, rat, move out of my way. Oh my god, this rat. Oh, looking for the Jedi orb, are you? Can't say I've seen it, or heard of it for that matter. Mind refreshing my memory? Really? You're in jail, you want 500 gold? 
What are you gonna buy? Sure. It's all coming back to me now. Uh, which is to say, I've not a clue. But I can tell you what I'd do if I nicked a treasure like that. My first stop would be Ibrahim's scrap store. Got to be sure my prize is the genuine article, eh? The scrap stores are in the checkpoint rest town. Might be worth a look, see? Wonder who that guy is. You can't talk to him though. Everything's in the rest point check town. Ugh. I I don't wanna I don't wanna use my makeshift jail key for that. Plus I don't know if the guards will attack me if I unlock any of this stuff. We just got to save, so yeah, let's hope that nobody gets mad. Not a very big jail. Let's put our main gear on and then what we're going to do is we're going to end the video outside here and when we come back I think we'll go over to the rest point check or wait rest what the hell is that place called where is it at over here checkpoint rest town Jesus, that's a mouthful. We're going to go over there after we end the video here. Oh, good. You return. I find myself on edge when you stray from my line of sight. All right, everybody. I hope you all enjoyed the video. If you did, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. If you didn't, hit the thumbs down button. Let me know why down in the comments below. It only helps the channel. Also, if you enjoy you content just like this, be sure to subscribe or don't. I don't know. I'm not your dad. Do whatever you want. And like always, everybody, have a good morning, a good afternoon, or a good night. Whatever time it may be in your part of the world, Mr. John Wayne, signing off.